thank you everybody for that uh, kind uh, welcome. Thanks Gary for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, c'est un vrai plaisir d'être avec vous aujourd'hui ici au pavillon du Canada pour les Jeux Olympiques et Paralympiques d'hiver 2010. It's my distinct pleasure to be here with you today. Here at this, the Canada Pavilion for the 2010 Winter Olympic and Paralympic Games. Tomorrow, as the doors officially open to the public, the best of Canada's Olympic and Paralympic history will be on display right here. These are the stories of the heroes and the heroines who, through their hard work, dedication, and sportsmanship, make us all proud to be Canadian. I'm going to talk about some of those in a moment. We actually have a living one of those here today, and that is Canada's Olympic ambassador and Olympic gold medalist, Nancy Green Rainis. But this, this pavilion features stories like that of Marilyn Bell, who back in 1954, at the tender age of 16, became the first person ever to swim across Lake Ontario, and the next year became the youngest person ever to swim the, swim the English Channel. Des athlètes comme Jacques Plante qui a appris à jouer hockey, pas après avoir appris à marcher. Il a non seulement été une vedette de hockey professionnel, mais il a aussi innové en étant le premier gardien de but de la LNH à porter un masque, un masque d'une façon régulière. This center will also celebrate the stars of today. Familiar names like Sidney Crosby, Haley Wickenheiser, Virtue and Scott Moore. And this will be a place to cheer on the next generation of Canadian heroes. Athletes like Brian McKeever, the first athlete ever to participate in both the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Like Patrick Chan, who is, who is set to figure skate his way into the history books. Comme Alexandre Bilodeau, qui a surmonté une blessure à la cheville pour terminer en quatrième place à la Coupe du Monde de Ski Acrobatique avec place le mois dernier. And like Sammy Kent from Whitehorse, a First Nation Alpine skier who has been challenging the slopes since he was two years old. Additionally, the Canada Pavilion will feature messages of encouragement to our athletes, breaking news about events, interactive technologies in order to teach visitors from around the world about Canada's tradition in sports excellence. And I'm sure more than a few of you are going to be excited to test out some of these things here today. There's a virtual slap shot game. Some of you will have some fun with that. Mesdames et messieurs, les Canadiens et les Canadiennes sont prêts à accueillir le monde. Nous sommes prêts à montrer que nous pouvons affronter les meilleurs des meilleurs et terminer vainqueurs. From St. John's to Iqaluit to right here in Vancouver, Canadians are ready to welcome the world. We are ready to showcase our home, the true North strong and free, the most peaceful and prosperous country the world has ever known. We're ready to demonstrate that we can compete against the best of the best and come out on top. And what's that we're going to win again? We are all ready, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to embrace this nation-defining moment. This is Canada's pavilion. These are Canada's games. Go Canada, go!